This hour-long test, conducted to the standardized time temperature curve, compared the performance of fire resistive glass to the performance of fire protective glass. The aim was to obtain information and evaluate the effects of radiant heat on human occupants and combustible objects. To collect accurate data, temperature and radiant heat flux measurement devices were placed on the objects and furnishings in front of the test furnace. This test took place in the IFTNS Limited Laboratory in Bern, Switzerland, under the supervision of International Fire Consultants Limited, a leading fire safety consulting firm with expertise in the field of fire rated glazing. The wall shielding the left chamber is made from SGG Contraflam 60, a clear, tempered, intumescent, fire resistive product. The glass surrounding the right-hand chamber is a monolithic ceramic fire protective product. The radio in the right hand ceramic chamber at 10 minutes into the test. At 20 minutes, radiant heat flux through the ceramic glazing is reaching critical intensity levels. At 27 minutes, Radiant heat flux has caused non-piloted or auto-ignition in the right-hand chamber. The radio in the right chamber at approximately 29 minutes into the test. The radio in the right chamber at approximately 38 minutes into the test. At 45 minutes, radiant heat transmission through the ceramic glazing results in spontaneous combustion in the right chamber. As the test concludes, the fire resistive chamber remains basically intact. The temperature on the left hand chamber is even low enough to safely accommodate an occupant. Take a look at the various items within the test chamber. The objects on the table are charred. The shelf and its items are completely gone. The wood cribs have burned away. Comparison of key measurements. Radiant heat flux at 1 meter or 3.3 feet distance. SGG contraflam less than 1 kilowatt. Glass ceramic 28 kilowatts.